The 10,000th Allison jet engine produced at the Indianapolis plant, a milestone in the history of aviation. Battle tested in Korea, the jet engine is a hero with the men of the Air Force, a marvel of both engineering and performance. Here being put in the shipping can on its way to be installed. The exhibit attracts guests and workers alike. How such complicated mechanisms operate may be far from their comprehension, but they find them fascinating and instructive. The gleaming cutaway models catch the eye of the men. Yes, the women also find them interesting. The man who builds them discusses them with the man who flies them. And the lieutenant explains them to the ladies. Girls, are you looking at the engine or the man? The ceremony begins. The distinguished guests arrive. Paul Garrett, Vice President of General Motors, Governor Schricker of Indiana, and then E.B. Newell, General Manager of the Allison Division, who speaks. First, I'd like to welcome everyone here who is attending this celebration. It might be asked uh, why we take time out for an occasion such as this. And I think that uh, the answer is perfectly obvious. When uh, anything happens uh, in history for the first time, at least if it's a constructive affair, it's usually pretty well to stop and take note of that fact. Now today we have two things occurring which are happening for the first time in history. One is the delivery by Allison uh, to the US Air Force uh, the 10,000th turbine jet engine, uh, which we have produced and so delivered. May I introduce Lieutenant William O. Lighty. <laughs> Lieutenant Lighty, veteran jet pilot who has distinguished himself while flying 100 combat missions over Korea. If I want to destroy a target, it's jet for me. Thank you very much. see number 10,000. Major General Orville B. Cook accepts on behalf of the Air Force. Finally, the unveiling of the world's most powerful jet engine. It's the J-35A-23, and it's going into production for the nation's defense. Greater strength for our armed forces. Greater hope for peace. Peace.